everyone. In this video, we will discuss about what is dividend and why companies give dividends. Dividends are paid by the company to its shareholders. Dividends are paid to distribute the profits made by the company during that particular financial year. And dividends are paid on a per share basis. So for example, let's suppose during the financial year 2019 and 20, if Infosys has declared a dividend of rupees 42 per share, then the dividend is also expressed as a percentage of the face value. In the above case, the face value of Infosys was rupees 5 and the dividend paid was rupees 42. Hence, the dividend payout is said to be 840%. It is not mandatory to pay out dividends every year. If the company feels that instead of paying the dividends to the shareholders, they are better off utilizing the same cash to fund new project for a better future, they can do so. Besides, the dividends need not to be paid from the profits alone. If the company has made a loss during that year, but it does hold a healthy cash reserve, then the company can still pay dividends from its cash reserves. Sometimes, distributing the dividends may be the best way forward for the company. When the growth opportunities for the company have exhausted and the company holds excess cash, it would make sense for the company to reward its shareholders thereby repaying the trust the shareholders hold in the company. The decision to pay dividend is taken in the annual general meeting during which the directors of the company meet. The dividends are not paid right after the announcement. This is because the shares are traded throughout the year and it would be difficult to identify who gets the dividend and who doesn't. There are four important dates in case of dividend given by a company which we'll discuss in the next section. So, the first one is dividend declaration date. This is the date on which the annual general meeting takes place and the company board approves the dividend issue. The second is the record date. This is the date on which the company decides to review the shareholders register to list down all the eligible shareholders for the dividend. Usually, the time difference between the dividend declaration date and the record date is at least 30 days. The next is X date or X dividend date. The X dividend date is normally set two business date before the record date. Only shareholders who own the shares before the X dividend date are entitled to the dividend. This is because in India, the normal settlement of trades is on T plus 2 basis. So for all practical purposes, if you want to be entitled for the dividend, you need to ensure you buy the shares before the X dividend date. The next is dividend payout date. This is the date on which the dividends are paid out to the shareholders listed in the register of the company. Another important date is come dividend where the shares are said to be come dividend till the X dividend date. So now we will discuss what happens after a company gives a dividend to its shareholders. In an ideal condition, when the stock goes X dividend, usually the stock price drops to the extent of the dividend paid. For example, if let's say ITC which is trading at 205 rupees has declared a dividend of rupees 5. So on X dividend date, the stock price will drop to the extent of dividend paid. As in the case of ITC, the price of ITC will drop down to rupees 200. The reason for this price drop is because the amount paid out no longer belongs to the company. Dividends can be paid anytime during the financial year. If it's paid during the financial year, it is called interim dividend. And if the dividend is paid at the end of the financial year, it is called the final dividend. So friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do subscribe the channel for further videos. Till then, happy learning.